chapter 5 more on ms excel about the chapter mathematical operator cell reference functions mathematical operator mathematical operator is a unique code block containing characters for mathematical logical and set notation Excel uses standard operators for formulas such as a plus sign for addition, a minus sign for subtraction, an asterisk for multiplication, a forward slash for division, and a caret for exponents. All formulas in Excel must begin with an equal sign. This is because the cell contains or is equal to the formula and the value it calculates. Cell reference A cell reference refers to a cell or a range of cells on a worksheet and can be used in a formula so that Microsoft Office Excel can find the values or data that you want that formula to calculate. While you can create simple formulas in Excel manually, for example, is equal to 2 plus 2 or is equal to 5 asterisk 5. Most of the time, you will use cell addresses to create a formula. This is known as making a cell reference. Using cell references, you will ensure that your formulas are always accurate because you can change the value of reference cells without having to rewrite the formula. Cell references uses are not restricted to the same worksheet where the data is located. Cells can be referenced from different worksheets. When this occurs, the name of the worksheet is included in the formula. By combining a mathematical operator with cell references, you can create a variety of simple formulas in Excel. Formulas can also include a combination of cell references and numbers as is the given image of example. Creating a formula Let's take an example to understand how to create a formula. Type the cost of computer and printer and let's see how the total cost of computer and printer can be calculated using formula. First, select the cell that will contain the formula, that is B4. Second, type the equal sign. Notice how it appears in both the cell and the formula bar. Third, type the cell address of the cell you want to reference first in the formula. Cell B2 is given example. A blue border will appear around the referenced cell. Fourth, Type the mathematical operator you want to use. For the given example, you will type the addition sign plus. Fifth, type the cell address of the cell you want to reference second in the formula, cell P3. A red border will appear around the referenced cell. Sixth, press enter on your keyboard. The formula will be calculated and the value will be displayed in the cell. Quick fact, if the result of a formula is too large to be displayed in a cell, it may appear as pound signs instead of a value. This means the column is not wide enough to display the cell content. Simply increase the column width to show the cell content. Modifying values with self-references. The true advantage of self-references is that they allow you to update data in your worksheet without having to rewrite formulas. In the given example, we have modified the value of cell B1 from 35,000 to 37,000. The formula in B3 will automatically recalculate and display the new value in cell B3. Quick fact. Excel will not always tell you if the formula contains an error. So, it's up to you to check all of your formulas. To create a formula using the point and click method, rather than typing cell addresses manually, you can point and click on the cells you want to include in your formula. This method can save a lot of time and effort when creating formulas. 
let's take an example to calculate the cost of ordering several stationary items first select the cell that will require the formula second type the sign equal to third select the cell you want to reference first in the formula cell b3 in our example the cell address will appear in the formula and a dashed blue line will appear around the referenced cell or type the mathematical operator you want to use for the given example you will type the multiplication sign asterisk fifth select the cell you want to reference second in the formula cell c3 for the given example the cell address will appear in the formula and a dashed red line will appear around the referenced cell sixth press enter on your keyboard the formula will be calculated and the value will be displayed in the cell formulas can also be copied to adjacent cells with the fill handle which can save a lot of time and effort if you need to perform the same calculation multiple times in a worksheet types of cell references there are two types of cell references relative and absolute relative and absolute references behave differently when copied and filled to other cells relative references change when a formula is copied to another cell absolute references on the other hand remain constant no matter where they are copied relative references by default all cell references are relative references when copied across multiple cells they change based on the relative position of rows and columns for example if you copy the formula is equal to a1 plus b1 from row 1 to row 2 the formula will become is equal to a2 plus b2 relative references are especially convenient whenever you need to repeat the same calculation across multiple rows or columns to create and copy a formula using relative references Let's take an example. You want to create a formula that will multiply each item's price by the quantity. Instead of creating a new formula for each row, you can create a single formula in cell B2 and then copy it to the other rows. You will use relative references so the formula correctly calculates the total for each item. First Select the cell that will contain the formula. In your example, you will select cell D2. Second, enter the formula to calculate the desired value. For your example, type is equal to B2 asterisk C2. Third, press enter on your keyboard. The formula will be calculated and the result will be displayed in the cell. Fourth, locate the fill handle in the bottom right corner of the desired cell in your example you will locate the fill handle for cell d2 fifth click hold and drag the fill handle over the cells you want to fill in your example you will select cells d3 till d8 sixth release the mouse The formula will be copied on the selected cells with relative references and the values will be calculated in each cell. Quick fact: You can double click the filled cells to check their formulas for accuracy. The relative cell references should be different for each cell depending on their rows. Absolute references. There may be times when you do not want a cell reference to change when filling cells unlike relative references absolute references do not change when copied or filled you can use an absolute reference to keep a row and or column constant an absolute reference is designated in a formula 
by the addition of a dollar sign. It can precede the column reference, the row reference or both. Quick fact. You will generally use the $A, $2 format when creating formulas that contain absolute references. The other two formats are used much less frequently. When writing a formula, you can press the F4 key on your keyboard to switch between relative and absolute cell references. This is an easy way to quickly insert an absolute reference. To create and copy a formula using absolute references. Let's understand the absolute reference with an example. In your example, you will use the 12% GST rate in cell E1 to calculate the GST for all items in column D. You will need to use the absolute cell reference $E $1 in your formula because each formula is using the same tax rate. You want that reference to remain constant when the formula is copied and filled to other cells in column D. First, select the cell that will contain the formula. In your example, you will select cell D3. Second, enter the formula to calculate the desired value. In your example, you will type is equal to bracket open B3 asterisk C3 bracket close asterisk dollar E dollar 1. Third, press enter on your keyboard. The formula will calculate and the result will display in the cell. Fourth, Locate the fill handle in the bottom right corner of the desired cell. In your example, you will locate the fill handle for cell D3. Fifth, click, hold and drag the fill handle over the cells you want to fill. Cells D4 to D13 in your example. Sixth, release the mouse. The formula will be copied to the selected cells with an absolute reference. And the values will be calculated in each cell. Quick fact. You can double click the filled cells to check their formulas for accuracy. The absolute reference should be the same for each cell. While the other references are relative to the cells rows. Be sure to include the dollar sign Whenever you are making an absolute reference across multiple cells, without dollar sign, Excel will interpret it as a relative reference, producing an incorrect result when copied to other cells. Functions A function is a predefined formula that performs calculations using specific values in a particular order. Excel includes many common functions that can be useful for quickly finding the sum, average, count, maximum value and minimum value for a range of cells. In order to use functions correctly, you will need to understand the different parts of a function and how to create arguments to calculate values and cell references. The parts of a function in order to work correctly, a function must be written in a specific way, which is called the syntax. The basic syntax for a function is the equal sign, the function name, sum for example, and one or more arguments. Arguments contain the information you want to calculate. The function in the example would add the values of the cell range A1 to A20. Working with arguments. Arguments can refer to both individual cells and cell ranges and must be enclosed within parentheses. You can include one argument or multiple arguments depending on the syntax required for the function. For example, the function is equal to average bracket open b1 colon b9 bracket close would calculate the average of the values in the cell range b1 to b9. 
this function contains only one argument multiple arguments must be separated by a comma for example the function is equal to sum within bracket a1 colon a3 comma c1 colon c2 comma e1 bracket close will add the values of all the cells in the three arguments quick fact the auto sum command can also be accessed from the formulas tab on the ribbon basic functions excel has a variety of functions available some of the most common functions of excel are as follows sum this function adds all of the values of the cells in the argument average this function determines the average of the values included in the argument it calculates the sum of the cells and then divides that value by the number of cells in the argument count this function counts the number of cells with numerical data in the argument This function is useful for quickly counting items in a cell range. Max this function determines the highest cell value included in the argument. Min this function determines the lowest cell value included in the argument using a function. Let's understand it with an example to calculate the average price per unit for a list of recently ordered items using the average function. First, select the cell that will contain the function. In your example, you will select cell C10. Second, type the equal sign and enter the desired function name. You can also select the desired function from the list of suggested functions that will appear below the cell as you type. In your example, you will type average. Third, enter the cell range for the argument inside parenthesis. In your example, you will type open bracket C3 colon C10 close bracket. This formula will add the values of cells C3 to C9 and then divide that value by the total number of cells in the range to determine the average. Fourth, press enter on your keyboard. The function will be calculated and the result will appear in the cell. In our example, the average price per unit of items ordered was 13.43 to create a function using the auto sum command the auto sum command allows you to automatically insert the most common functions into your formula including sum average count minimum and maximum or min and max in your example below you will create a function to calculate the total cost for a list of recently ordered items using the sum function first select the cell that will contain the function in your example you will select cell e11 second in the editing group on the home tab locate and select the arrow next to the auto sum command and then choose the desired function from the drop down menu in your example you will select sum third the selected function will appear in the cell if logically placed the auto sum command will automatically select a cell range for the argument in your example cells e3 to e10 were selected automatically and their values will be added together to calculate the total cost you can also manually enter the desired cell range into the argument fourth press enter on your keyboard the function will be calculated and the result will appear in the cell in your example the sum of d3 till d10 is 353 920 function library 
while there are hundreds of functions in excel the ones you use most frequently will depend on the type of data your workbooks contains there is no need to learn every single function but exploring some of the different types of functions will be helpful as you create new projects you can search for functions by category such as financial logical text date and time and more from the function library on the formulas tab first to access the function library select the formulas tab on the ribbon the function library will appear insert function if you are having trouble finding the right function the insert function command allows you to search for functions using keywords auto sum command the auto sum command allows you to automatically return results for common functions like sum average and count recently used the recently used command gives you access to functions you have recently worked with financial the financial category contains functions for financial calculations like determining a payment pmt or interest rate for a loan rate logical functions in the logical category check arguments for a value or condition for example if an order is more than rupees 50 add rupees 4.99 for shipping but if it is more than rupees 100 do not charge for shipping if or if within bracket text the text category contains functions that work with the text in arguments to perform tasks such as converting text to lower case within brackets lower or replacing text within bracket replace date and time the date and time category contains functions for working with dates and times and will return results like the current date and time within bracket now or the seconds within bracket second look up and reference the look up and reference category contains functions that will return results for finding and referencing information for example you can add a hyperlink within bracket hyperlink to a cell or return the value of a particular row and column intersection within bracket index math and trig the math and trig category includes functions for numerical arguments for example you can round values within bracket round find the value of pi within bracket pi multiply within bracket product and subtotal within bracket subtotal more functions more functions contain additional functions under categories for statistical engineering cube information and compatibility to insert a function from the function library in your example on next page you will use a function to calculate the number of business days it took to receive items after they were ordered you will use the dates in columns b and c to calculate the delivery time in column d first select the cell that will contain the function in your example you will select cell d3 second click the formula tab on the ribbon to access the function library third from the function library group select the desired function category in your example you will choose date and time fourth select the desired function from the drop down menu in your example you will select the network days function to count the number of business days between the ordered date and received day fifth the function arguments dialog box will appear from here you will be able to enter or select the cells that will make up the arguments in the function in your example you will enter b3 in the start underscore date colon field and c3 in the end underscore date colon field 
सिक्स वेन यू आर सेटिस्फाइड विद द आर्ग्यूमेंट्स क्लिक ओके सेवन द फंक्शन विल बी कैलकुलेटेड एंड द रिजल्ट विल अपियर इन द सेल लेट्स रिकॉल ऑल फॉर्मूलाज इन एक्सेल मस्ट बिगिन विद एन इक्वल साइन फॉर्मूलाज कैन ऑल्सो इंक्लूड अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ सेल रेफरेंसेस एंड नंबर्स If the result of a formula is too large to be displayed in a cell it may appear as pound signs instead of a value formulas can also be copied to adjacent cells with the fill handle there are two types of cell references relative and absolute unlike relative references absolute references do not change when copied or filled a function is a predefined formula that performs calculations using specific values in a particular order the recently used command gives you access to functions you have recently worked with